Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books May 2nd Reconciliation For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. Romans 5.10 When misunderstandings occur between two parties, it is the duty of the offender to take the first steps toward reconciliation. Paul tells us that while we were enemies, God made the first move to restore harmony. In fact, the plan of redemption was made before man sinned. God announced to Adam and Eve before they were banished from the garden that Christ had offered to die as their substitute so that communion might be restored between them and their Maker. The only son of a young couple was taken from them suddenly in death. At first they shared their grief, but as time went on they began to seek comfort elsewhere and became estranged from each other and parted company. Years later, a business appointment took the husband back to the hometown. After completing his business, he bought flowers at a florist shop and took a taxi to the sacred spot where the little boy was buried. To the father's surprise, he noticed a woman at the little plot and recognized her as the child's mother. His first impulse was to hurry away before she recognized him, but he decided to stop and leave the flowers. As the man and woman met at the sight of their common sorrow, their hearts were melted. They embraced each other as they wept over the grave of their boy. Through sin, man became estranged from his Creator, but God had already provided a means of reconciliation. Through the death of Christ, heaven and earth are united once more. Let us not pull ourselves away from God, but let us enter fully into the love relationship offered by Christ.